Good day everyone! I am being tasked to do a reporting entitled The Digital Safety Rules and I will also be giving you some tips to become a digital citizen. By the way, before I will continue, I am Mr. Kisai Vicente Jr., your BS Ed English 2. Here's some motivational question for you. What happened if we don't use the internet safely? If we use the internet recklessly? We may be a victim of phishing, scam, identity thief, cyber stalking, hacking, software piracy, child soliciting abuse, and ransom ransomware, and of course, this. Truth may be ugly. Of course, we don't want this to happen. Good day, good day, digital citizens. Earlier year, you have seen how bad it takes if we recklessly use the internet. This is not to threaten you or whatsoever, but this is just a friendly reminder that if you don't want to be victimized by cyber crimes, join me as I am going to give you some helpful tips on how to protect yourself in this digital world. In the idea of being a digital citizen. But before that, we must first take a quick review on what is a digital citizenship. Now, what is a digital citizenship? Digital citizenship is a holistic and positive approach that plays a critical role on, on empowering communities and the youth to become responsible, ethical, and resilient digital citizens. Digital citizens, thereof, this means that digital citizenships helps people or individuals understand the rights and responsibility of the benefits and risks in using technologies, and at the same time, the personal and ethical implications to their actions in digital world. There are three factors to consider this context. Uh, the three C's, or there are three C's of digital citizenship. First, we have the appropriate contact. Appropriate contact teaches us or teaches people or individuals or what we usually call as a netizens, appropriate and healthy relationship and communication online. Next, we also have appropriate content or context. This requires acceptable and healthy or professional and also clear content upon considering if it is responsible, healthy, and ethical. Next, we also have appropriate conduct. Appropriate conduct teaches the netizens online behavior, appropriate online behavior, because everything we do, we do online also reflects to our online reputation within the context of digital citizenship Make yourself an effective and professional digital citizen and knowing the digital safety rules is the basic thing you must do to become one of the digital safety rules. They also or they also re refer this to us as a cyber cyber safety or online safety tips. This is the ability to act in a safe and responsible manner while using technology. Today, I'll be giving you the seven digital safety rules. Rule number one, practice safe browsing. Cyber criminals use lurid content as bait. When you let your guards down upon browsing in just one careless click, all your personal data may be exposed or it can be infect your device within malware or with a malware. Next, so to resist this urge, here's what you must do. Research before you register. The internet is filled with hard to see pitfalls. This may be a pair or this may appear as a site for an online concert and requires you to register 
and uh, before entering uh before entering you can also be careful what you download programs or apps maybe carry uh, malware or try to steal your personal information thereof never download anything that looks suspicious or come from a site you don't trust Rule number two, be careful in what you post. Never post anything online that you might regret later. Uh, on or in order words, save your reputation. So think before typing. Uh, this is one important thing to consider when posting online. Uh, be professional in your own opinion towards a certain subject. This may be either with yourself or other subject or both sides. The third rule, uh, be careful who you meet online. Be cautious and sensible in your online social life. People meet uh, you meet online are not always who they claim to be or they may not even be real. With this, you may trust your God. If someone approaches you online and makes you feel in danger, stop your communication with them. Immediately, if they insist, tell a trusted adult about this matter. Avoid discrimination or cyberbullying. It is a crime that tramples someone's individuality. If this is sent you, but someone did this to you, it is best to block or delete or ignore these people. Next, require an ID. Uh, next, or the, the next or the fourth rule is keep personal information private. You might need to provide your personal backgrounds online for potential customers or employer, but keep it professional and limited. Um, herewith, check your, check your privacy settings. Make sure that only your friends can see your post and choose a strong password. Uh, avoid using common password like password or one two three four five six like really we can do better than this at the same time never share your password to anyone and then the fifth rule uh, make sure your internet connection is secure you uh when you connect your device in a public wi-fi connection take note that you have no direct control over its security you can use secure VPN. Uh, this enables you to have secure connection between your device and internet server that no one can monitor or access your data that you are exchanging. <clears throat> the sixth rule, make online purchases from secure sites. When you purchase online, you need to provide bank accounts, information, just what cyber criminals are most eager to put their hands on. Only supply this information to sites that provides a secure and encrypted connection. Here's a trivia. Um, according to Boston University, you can identify secure sites by looking for an address that starts with HTTPS rather than HTTP, where it stands for a secure, they may also be marked a padlock, uh, padlock icon next to the address bar. Lastly, rule number seven. Keep your antivirus program up to date. This provides a vital layer of security against mal malware. So let's take a quick recap. So the first rule is practice safe browsing. Next is be careful in what you post. Third, be careful who you met online. Fourth is keep your personal information private. And six or five is make sure your internet connection is secure. Six, make online purchases from secure sites. And lastly, keep your antivirus active and up to date. I know this era is quite interesting where they may, may cry when someone could encode a phone in their hand, but we must admit in the, uh, that or we can admit it these technologies have been playing a significant role in our daily lives, particularly in terms of innovations 
communication and development. However, we must keep in mind that even if in technologies uh, may have been giving us boundless opportunities, still we must know our limits and primarily, primarily prioritize our safety. That is for today. I hope you gain significant learning from this. I already said a lot. So again, this is your digital reporter of the day saying anyone can be a digital citizen. It is up to you to become one or become a responsible one. Thank you and goodbye.